What's up guys? For the past few months, I've been using the Analog Super NT. I use it with original hardware, original cartridges, as well as original controllers. And this system has been amazing and today I'm going to review it for you. So let's get ready for the video right now. Hey everybody, it's your girl JLove81 and you're watching my boy T-Belly. What's up YouTube? What's up YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here with a brand new video. So today, we're going to review the Analog Super NT. This console is a beast. It's a beast. It is beautiful. It has HDMI out. It has DC out for the power, meaning that you might not need an actual plug. You can just use the power of USB, which a lot of us have that on our current model TV. So how in depth are we going to get with this review today? Well, we're not going to talk about the tech specs. We're not going to talk about the multiple camera angles and audio angles. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about gaming because that's what we're here for super nintendo super nintendo pal and super famicom gaming on this console so where do we start well we start with the fact that i'm a purist i love to play my retro consoles on crts but there is this option right here which makes things a little bit easier for today's standards where you can get your original cartridges you don't need the new controllers. They do have new controllers, mostly by 8-Bit Doh. 8-Bit Doh makes great controllers, but I prefer the original stuff. So you can just pop in your controllers right here. My weapon of choice is the Super Nintendo controller from PAL. It is a mixture of the American with the American branding and the Japanese with the Japanese button color placement. So it's a mixture of both, my favorite, and it's not a short wire like the Super Famicom. So that's why I like to play with, but I've been recently using the American controller just because I have a better American controller with certain games. So I played a lot of games on this. I started with Super Famicom games. I was playing Gogo Akman uh, 1 and 2. I've beaten both of them on stream. I need to play part 3 at the time of this recording. I'm currently playing Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, and I've played so many different games on this console. So I'm going to show you guys some gameplay. And we're going to talk about the gameplay that's going on. So I don't remember the exact list of games and how many games I played. So I'm going to show you the footage. And we're just going to break down everything. The audio is phenomenal. The picture is phenomenal. So get your popcorn ready and enjoy the show. Get the showcase going. Let's do it. Let's do it the new Nintendo style. What's up, guys? So we're going to do a little voiceover here. We're going to set this off with the menu. This is the analog super NT menu. You can go ahead and run the game right out the menu. And our first first contestant right now is Go Go Akman for the Super Famicom. So I'm going to start this off and say just look at how beautiful and clear this looks. I mean that's phenomenal. That is like literally phenomenal. Look at that picture right there in the scrolling background. It is just picture perfect clear. And this is what you get with the analog super nt look at that picture you get an original cartridge running in fpga format the audio is stereo sound because you can select that you can also select mono if you prefer monaro but who wants to play with mono audio on a super famicom super nintendo <laughs> But look at this, look at the graphics on this. It just looks beautiful. Look at the background scroll. The colors are just popping. And this is what you're getting. This is on a high definition television. This is what you're getting, guys. Let's switch over to this bad boy right here. This classic for the Super Nintendo called F-Zero. Again, this is original hardware. I put in my original F-Zero cartridge into the Super NT. And this is what you're going. I mean, this is what you're getting. Just look at it, guys. Look at this. Just look for a minute. I mean, wow. This is just phenomenal. 
the audio is just on point the graphics are crystal clear I mean you can always honestly if you want you can add those scan lines but my thing is if you're going to play in high definition you should just play in high definition I also plugged in the Elgato I actually have the HD 60 S um, not the regular HD 60 but still it's fine it's not a problem there and I just love how this looks man we're going to test out like three more games about yeah three more games that seems about right and this is what you're going to get guys guys and gals when I say guys you know don't get offended now but right here this is what you got you get this premium console that's giving you premium performance you want to stream these games there you go and I'm telling you as a game player as a hardcore game player game beater and pretty much you know who I am the king of retro I'm highly recommending a analog Super NT for anybody that wants to stream some Super Nintendo games. Right now we're going to dip into Battletoads Battle Maniacs. This is a game that has huge sprites, high detail on the character designs, the backgrounds, and the music. I mean, I'm going to give you guys a music break when we get into level 2, but let level 1 play off. Obviously, player 1 is Pimple. If you plug in your controller to player 2, you use Rash. But uh, I just use with Pimple for this um, demo to show you guys what we're doing here. But I have to say, this is phenomenal. This is not your average Super Nintendo gaming. This is not yesterday's Super Nintendo gaming. For the younger viewers, this is not your daddy's or your granddaddy's Super Nintendo gaming. This is Super Nintendo gaming for our generation. If you don't have a CRT, if you don't have original hardware if you don't want to deal with input lag this is the way to go if you're not going original on original hardware meaning not just the hardware itself but the CRT TV to go along with it this is your solution I mean look at the graphics it's perfect it's pixel perfect I can't get over Timbaland boot for that ass this is just a phenomenal experience now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be quiet and I'm going to let you guys just enjoy the audio of level 2 and see the power of the Super NT. Alright guys, so right now we're going to get into the Lion King. This is the Super Nintendo version and right there at the title screen, you see how crystal clear the background looks. What's up dude? What's his name? Pumbaa? No, that's actually Timon. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of gameplay of this game. Not too much because I want to play this game. I've never actually played through this game before. So this is like my first time playing and I'm just using Simba like a rookie. <laughs> But it's a fun game. I see people play it all the time. The music is excellent. I think the music in this game is really what makes you want to play. The gameplay is pretty mediocre platformer, but the graphics are beautiful. And just the sound effects and the music in this game, it's just based off the actual soundtrack of the Lion King movie, which is a classic for American film. And this is just the way to go. Analog Super NT. I will admit there are other options, maybe one other option, but we'll talk about that another day. And I'll give just a silent plug to uh, Mr. Which is also an FPGA platform. That's the key. Now at the time of this recording, I did not know what FPGA was. I wasn't even knowledgeable of FPGA. I was just playing these games and having a blast. But this is an FPGA enhanced console the Super NT and all of Analog's products, which means they basically run the cartridge games or disc like directly as if it was on original hardware. And that's why you get this top tier performance that's not only how it looks, how it sounds, but how it plays. I mean, that's the key thing. It's not just the graphics and the sound, it's your Everything gameplay. Is our Look at that, wow. 
you get to move left, you get to move right, up, down, whatever you have to do in the game. You just move. I mean, look at me with Pumba. I said Pumba. It's Pumba. I, I just, like I said, I never played this before. So I only caught two bugs. But it's just the accuracy of the directional pad. It's just something out of this world. It's really an input lag killer because there is no input lag. I don't feel any. I really don't. And I'm somebody that's beaten some of the hardest games on the NES, including the SNES, and I've done them with input lag. Not no more. Those days are now gone. And for you people that want to play in high definition, you want a quick solution for streaming. Let's say you just need a solution for streaming. This is the way to go. Right here, we're on an Elgato. We're literally on an Elgato, and this is the only way to play this game and all of these games streaming that you won't have input lag unless you're missing unless you're using not missing unless you're using another fpga console or piece of hardware which there are not many on the market so right here one price price of admission and you're in so we're going to touch something really special here really really special we're going to touch the legend of zelda a link to the past I mean, this is my favorite game on the Super Nintendo console, and let's just let this beauty play out. I mean, come on, guys. The beauty. The beauty right here. And I know this is retro gaming. I know we have 4K HDR gaming now in 2022. But when it comes to retro gaming, you can't get better than this console. You just can't do this. I only know a one other console that can do this, and it's also an FPGA console. The Analog Super NT is just really killing it. And check it out right here. Donkey Kong Country 3. I've never even played this. I've never played through this. Everything you're going to see is like first time gameplay. Again, this is old footage. This is back from July of 2021. Possibly August, but I'm pretty sure. And as you see, this was a later SNES title. It was uh, released in 1996. So you're going to see the hardware like pretty much pushed. So there, there goes the, the people that play this game that owned this before me. As you see, I'm erasing it. So th this is the proof. This is my first time touching it. So I said, hey, let's just go with the zero. So yeah, obviously I powered it on to see if the game works. That's why I was at zero percent. So right here, you just seen the overworld graphics of this game. And I think you guys get the point what you're getting with this console. I think with this video, you can see the visual aspect of things, the audio aspect of things, and you have to trust my word. If you don't know to trust me, I can just tell you I've beaten the biggest, baddest games. My name rings bells, and there's a reason why I'm the king of retro. So I'm telling you as the king that this console is definitely a plus. Definitely a plus. Maybe not a must but definitely a plus. So I hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm just having a good time looking at this gameplay, man. I actually want to pick up and play, but um, don't have the console anymore. But I do have another FPGA. Again, shameless plug to the Mr. FPGA. But we'll talk about the Mr. in the near future. But for right now, we're going to focus on the one console-based analog Super NT. I was stuck in that water for a while, by the way. Didn't know where to go. But there's there's just something magical about this, man. I I don't know what it is. It's just awesome to just play this. I'm Like I said, guys, I use my own Super Nintendo controllers. This is all with my original stuff. I'm not using no 8-bit dough, no other type of Bluetooth controller, which you can use. So I'm telling you, by using my wired original hardware controllers, this thing is 
controlling perfectly I highly suggest this console and on the my last outro of this as we finish speaking about these games and we get to the final portion of the video I mean I just have to say it's been a pleasure a treasure and a joy to use the analog super NT and I definitely vouch for this company and all of their products that I've used I've used the Mega SG I've used a lot so yeah you guys uh, hope you enjoy this part and let's get back to the uh, video let's get back to the regular stuff of the, of the video so yeah man I'm just so excited looking at this gameplay it's phenomenal looking it is awesome all right guys so that's it for this review today this system is awesome it's a must buy it retails for 190 bucks I know a lot of people might say that's stupid why would I pay that much for a clone console this is not an emulation box this is not even a clone console this is a replication this is a reimagining this is a high definition Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom in one it plays both games right out the box no need to have different consoles no need to have different types of plugs running through your AC power adapter and TVs this gets the job done I would still say hey I don't think anything beats a Super Nintendo with a CRT but with something like this device you get a better picture on your current model TV and you, you replicate the same feelings you had as a kid it just looks clearer and if you really wanted to look like a CRT there's scan lines for that again this video is not talking about the visual aspect of things is talking about the gameplay factor me playing my games and if I want to play games on Super Nintendo I want to play them on that obviously my first choice will always be a CRT a big CRT with nice audio and original hardware but this right here is the next best thing because it is not emulation it is simulation and it is the premier luxury way retro luxury at its finest the analog super NT. thank you so much to analog for creating this device this is not my actual hardware a friend of mine's let me borrow it and i've had it for a few months and i'm about to bring it right back but it's been a great ride and it's made me a believer and it's made me a future customer hopefully from analog and not a third party seller but that's a whole other topic but thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And at the end of the day, I'm a purist and I'm also a game beater. And part of that process is not having input lag. And that is the way to go. If I get a Super NES Classic, if I play SNES Online for Switch, it will have input lag. This does not have input lag. This is the way to go if you want luxury retro gaming at its finest. So if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And feel free to also comment down below how you feel about this. Is T-Belly wrong? Is T-Belly being biased? I love it. I, I'm still the purest with the CRT and the original SNES. But for me, this is the second best thing. If that experience is a 10, for me, this is a 9.9. .9. Literally, it's that close for me. If anything, I enjoy gaming like this a little bit more. Especially for streaming. For streaming, it, it makes things a lot easier. Just plug right into my Elgato and go so hopefully this video can help give some knowledge of the console and show you guys hey I can play my games in high definition because it's not about the graphics it's about the luxury of being able to use your regular TV in your living room and bedroom and not have to find a huge CRT to put somewhere everybody doesn't have a game room everybody doesn't have a garage you know some of us live in the box <laughs> come to New York City come check out New York City apartments you know check out a New York City studio and you'll see real quick how it's really hard to have a retro game collection and time to play retro games in our situation so I hope this video helped somebody out and definitely hit them comments down below let me how you feel but that's it for today guys feel free to like the video again comment and share the video share the video because we're trying to get this out there and we're trying to get the tea belly to every household in America yes get the tea belly to every household in america but that's it for today guys it's me your guy tea belly and i'm signing off y'all cheers